हेलो दोस्तों वेलकम वेलकम टू द लेक्चर सीरीज ऑन फाइनेंशियल मैनेजमेंट डियर लर्नर्स टुडे विल टेक अप न्यू मेथड अंडर मॉडर्न कैपिटल बजटिंग मेथड्स कैटेगरी सो बिफोर वी डू दैट लेट अस ब्रश अप व्हाट वी हैव डन इन द लास्ट till last session so till last session we were doing the problems on npv net present value method that is the first method under modern techniques of capital budgeting we have divided the capital budgeting techniques into two categories the first category is traditional methods the second category is discounted or modern methods under which we have seen net present value we have recently completed the net present value method and we are heading towards the second method that is profitability index method now this method is uh, similar to uh, net present value method but only the last step differs so let us first understand what is meant by profitability index method before we see the computation part so profitability index method is uh, one of the most popular methods of uh, capital budgeting uh, techniques uh, used to evaluate the capital budgeting proposals or investment proposals now this method is also has got uh, another name that is uh, benefit cost ratio most of the times this uh, question is asked in uh, interviews like what is the another name for profitability index method that is uh, benefit cost ratio now it is simple it measures the relationship between present value of cash inflows to present value of cash outflows See dear friends, I have I said that this method is quite similar to net present value method. So in net present value methods, we used to calculate the present value of cash inflows first, then present value of cash outflows, then we used to find net present value. So in this method also, similarly, we have present value of cash inflows and present value of cash outflows. In NPV, we used to deduct these two items, that is present value of cash inflows minus present value of cash outflows. but uh, the pi formula is pv of cfat divided by pv of co the only difference is in case of npv you deduct both the terms in case of profitability index you divide both the terms that is only the difference so the rest all the things remains same so let us see the decision rule we have two decision rules that is in case of independent projects and in case of dependent projects so in case of dependent projects a proposal is accepted if the pi the profitability index calculated pi is more than 1 and it is rejected if it is less than 1 so it's simple if it is less than 1 you reject it if it is more than 1 you accept the proposal now in case of dependent project a project with highest pi is accepted so in case if you are uh, evaluating two or more projects you need to accept a project whose pi is more that's all uh the two decision criteria in case of uh, uh independent and dependent projects now let us quickly go through a problem as i said the problem is similar or the question is similar to the npv so let us look into it so cost of investment is rupees 50000 so this is the cost uh, of the machine or the project and expected cash inflows are rupees 25000 20000 20000 10000 so so this is a project with four years life period so the length of the project is 4 years or so the life of the project is 4 years with an investment of 50000 rupees calculate npv and pi if the risk free rate of the return is 15% see the beauty of question is asking both npv and pi so as i said uh, npv pi the computation procedure is same on the only the last step differs so in npv we used to calculate first uh, the present value of cfat so here i have done the same thing i took the cfat for 4 years present value interest factor by seeing a3 table at 15% so you need to look into the table values uh, table values are given in the uh, description box a link is provided you can click on the link to view the table values so then 
A C F A T is assumed to be A P V I F at interest factor 15 is assumed to be so P V of C F A T is equals to C is equals to A into B. So the resultant figure is called P V of C F A T. Now so next is step number two that is calculation of present value of C O as you know C O is al always uh, the year for C O the time period for C O is zero. So investment is 50,000 rupees by default it is one. So P V of C O is 50,000 rupees. So, he is asking both uh, PI and NPV. So, let us first calculate NPV. We know the formula NPV is equals to present value of CFAT minus present value of CO. So, present value of CFAT step number 1 output, present value of CO step number 2 output. The resultant is positive figure that is 5750. This is all about NPV. Now, the only difference between the NPV and uh, PI is the formula. See for NPV we use uh, PV of CFAT minus PV of CO but for PI we use PV of CFAT divided by PV of CO. So that is double five seven five zero divided by 50,000 it is 1.1. It's very simple that is the reason I said it is uh, something related to NPV. So if you understand the concept of NPV well this is uh, very easy. The concept of PI is very easy. So uh, that's all for today. Uh, we have learned the profitability index method, the concept, formulae, decision criteria, and a problem. So, we'll be coming up uh, with next lecture soon. Till then, good day, goodbye.